This video is brought to you by HoodBeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. HoodBeast.com. What's up everybody? I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm comparing the Ultra Boost 1 through 4. Thanks so much for tuning in today, guys. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter, at RealSethFowler, if you haven't yet. But with all that being said, let's get into it. Over the last few years, the Ultra Boost has been one of Adidas's most popular running models and honestly, one of my favorite silhouettes. This is due in part to the Kanye effect, but it's mostly because the sneaker is really well styled and it's insanely comfortable. Of course, as you guys all know, every year, Adidas brings out a new version of the Ultra Boost. And this year is no different. Adidas brought out a new iteration of the Ultra Boost, the Ultra Boost 4.0. Last year, I made a video just like this comparing the Ultra Boost one through threes and I think with this updated model it's time to bring out a new updated video. So first things first let's take a look at the Ultra Boost 1.0. The Ultra Boost 1.0 is one of my absolute favorite sneakers of all time. I think it's an all-around winner of a shoe. You've got the crazy comfortable boost midsole, you've got the really clean looking and comfortable prime knit on the toe and the midfoot and you've got the supportive midfoot cage and heel counter. However because this was the first version of the shoe there are some things that change between the 1.0 and the 2.0. So before we get into the changes let's take a quick look at the Ultra Boost 2.0. The Ultra Boost 2.0 is a very similar looking sneaker however there are some changes that actually made this a little bit better of a shoe. I like the 1.0 better than the 2.0 but that's just a personal preference and it's all based on aesthetics. One of the biggest changes from the 1.0 to the 2.0 is that on the 1.0 version of the shoe the ankle to heel was covered in mesh instead of prime knit and while comfortable there wasn't a huge amount of give whereas on the 2.0 they extended the prime knit all the way from the toe of the shoe to the heel. What that did was make this heel area a lot more flexible and a lot easier to get your foot into the sneaker. The 1.0 you definitely had to use the pull tab to slide your foot in there whereas the 2.0 you could essentially use it as a slip-on. Another pretty big difference between the two shoes is that on the 2.0, Adidas made the Continental outsole standard. As of right now, I only have one pair of 1.0s and it was a limited edition version of the shoe with the Continental outsole. So I'm gonna have to refer you to the picture at the top of the screen of what the outsole used to look like. But the reason Adidas made that change is because the old outsole was having durability problems. It definitely helped a little bit and it's standard on all the Ultra Boosts moving forward from the 2.0, but it's still not the most durable outsole in the world. Probably the most visually apparent change between the two shoes was the change of the prime knit pattern. The 1.0 had the now classic arrow shaped prime knit pattern. It was a little sporty but the dual toned upper actually ended up looking really nice on a lot of different colorways. My favorite of which is this one which is the 3M 1.0. If you guys have been watching me for a while you know this is my favorite Ultra Boost. I just I love it. The 2.0 decided to go a little bit more bold with the prime knit pattern adding this gradient. In my opinion the shape of the gradient didn't really fit the shoe and I also didn't like what they did with some of the colorways of the gradient. On the black colorway it had some weird dark browns and blues in there that didn't really make sense with just an all black shoe. I wasn't a huge fan of that. Also on this 3M colorway I think that line was just a little bit too bold. The knit on the 2.0 was a little bit thicker but actually had more give and was softer than the 1.0. Honestly making it an even more comfortable shoe. Moving on to last year's Ultra Boost, the Ultra Boost 3.0. Although a lot of the construction stayed the same between the 2.0 and the 3.0, there were some pretty big visual differences. Right off the bat, the most obvious was the change in the prime knit pattern from the weird gradient to the sort of weird digital camo. Personally, I prefer the digital camo or stripey look to the gradient. The 3.0 Prime Knit also got rid of the ventilation holes that were on the toe box of the 2.0. Although the shoe didn't have any ventilation holes, it still kept your shoe pretty cool because the Prime Knit was a little bit thinner. That was one thing I wasn't a huge fan of on the 3.0 because the even thinner Prime Knit was a little bit too stretchy for me and made the shoe fit a little bit bigger. Granted, all the Ultra Boosts from the 1.0 up to the 4.0 have fit me true to size, this one still felt a little bit bigger than all the other ones. Another change between the 2.0 and the 3.0 was the material used on the midfoot cage. Adidas opted to not use the solid color cage of the 1.0 and the 2.0. Instead, they decided to make the 3.0's cage translucent. And by translucent, I mean that you can see through it. Some colorways of the shoe, this actually looked pretty nice, like the triple white 3.0's, whereas other colorways, I really wasn't a fan, like the regular black 3.0. The cage on that shoe had sort of a yellowish or brownish shoe, which I did not think looked good. The only other real difference between the 2.0 and the 3.0 was the size of the ankle area. On the 3.0, the opening for your foot is actually pretty huge. After wearing these a few times, I pretty much had no trouble just slipping my foot in using no hands. It's still definitely a comfortable ankle area, but I've got to be honest, if you're really using this as a performance shoe, it felt a little bit loose. Actually, even just looking at it, you can see it's a little bit bigger. But of course, just a few weeks ago, Adidas rolled out the Ultra Boost 4.0. Visually, the 4.0 really doesn't look that different. There are a couple welcome differences, like changing the cage back from the translucent material back to a solid color material. Also, on some of the more basic models, there isn't any color variation in the Prime Knit like there was in all the previous Ultra Boost. So if you're looking for just a plain white, black, or gray Ultra Boost, the Ultra Boost 4.0 is definitely the way to go. A minor difference is a change to the text on the insole. All the previous Ultra Boosts had Ultra Boosts and this energy, whereas the 4.0s just have 
boost in bubble text. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. it looks stupid. Of course, the prime knit pattern itself changed as well. Now it looks sort of like a hybrid between the 3.0 and the 1.0. You've got some of the lines of the 3.0, but you've got the ventilation holes of the 1.0. But the best and probably least obvious change to the Ultra Boost 4.0 is the actual knit itself. This is by far the most refined version of the Ultra Boost. Not only did Adidas shrink the size of the ankle collar so it doesn't flop around in your foot anymore, they also increased the thickness of the prime knit around the ankle and the heel. It's still stretchy enough to get your foot into no problem, but it definitely adds a lot more support around the ankle. Another nice change to the prime knit are the varying thickness between the toe and the midfoot. All the areas that can benefit from thicker, more durable prime knit get that. And all the areas that need more ventilation, like the midfoot underneath the cage and the toe, get more ventilation holes. The prime knit itself is also a little bit thinner there too, which is really nice. In my opinion, the shoe also fits a little bit better too. It definitely fits more true to size in the 3.0. Of course, the heel cup, boost midsole, and continental outsole haven't changed since the Ultra Boost 2.0, but again, those have been some of the best and most reliable parts of the shoe, so why change them? Overall, I think the Ultra Boost, and honestly, any of its iterations, is a great sneaker. If I was forced to pick only one, of course that would be the 1.0, because I think this is the best all around out of all four. Well, if you prefer visuals, because I think the 1.0 is the best looking sneaker, and it's still crazy comfortable compared to regular shoes. But in fairness, the 4.0 is a close runner up and honestly the most comfortable out of all four. The 4.0 is just an excellent refinement and an already excellent silhouette. And I'm really excited to see what Adidas does with all the upcoming colorways. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know which one of the Ultra Boosts is your favorite and why. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you wanna see more content just like this and follow me in all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below. Hello.